Hey guys, John V here from Phone Reno. Right now I'm taking a quick hands-on look at the just announced Samsung Galaxy Gear. It's a companion watch for any of the, any of the Samsung Galaxy branded devices out there. And if you like watches, of course, it's something that's going to be a, appeal to you. Not only does it have the same, some of the functionality of a smartphone, but at the same time, it's just a cool accessory to wear. So if you currently own a watch and you want to go the digital route, you're going to really like what this has to offer. So just looking at the design, i got to say, you know, it's pretty nice. Uh, it doesn't seem campy or cheap. Uh, it seems like it's constructed some really nice high quality material, stainless steel for the most part. You can tell the size though, it's pretty thick, but then again, you think about the components it's packing inside, it's pretty much warranted, but it has a very nice premium feel to it, and very nice compared to their smartphones, which is crazy to say. Uh, it features a touch screen right up front. It's 1.63 in size, 320 by 320, Super AMOLED panel, and of course with the Super AMOLED, it really makes it nice just because it has that black, deep black color, so it's ideal if you're in a low lighting condition. The contrast isn't going to be too much, so it's going to strain your eyes. And of course, the uh, the uh, lighting itself seems to be very pleasant. It doesn't seem to be overpowering, which is great. So take a look around the uh, watch here real quick. So like I said, in the front you have your touch screen, 1.63 inches in size, 320 by 320. There's nothing on the left side. On the right side, it looks like you have just a single button, which is used to actually turn off, turn on the device. And it looks like this, is, this area here is to, uh, turn, to power on the unit. Not sure exactly what the battery life is, but seeing that it's a smartwatch, I'm going to assume it's something going to charge on a daily basis. And it doesn't look like it's using a, pro, uh, a universal cable, it's more of a proprietary one. The uh, wrist strap itself is this plasticky material, and you have the clasp right here. You can adjust it to different lengths so it fits uh, without having to you know, go to a watch store and adjust it manually. Um, it's all something you can do by yourself. And overall, definitely nice. Might be on the thick size, but it definitely has that nice premium element, which is very inviting for a smartwatch to tell you. So let's take a look closer at the screen here. It's a touch screen, 1.63 inches in size, Super AMOLED, 320 by 320 pixels. Not necessarily a high resolution thing, but when you factor in the size, it's still very detailed. It has nice crisp crisp details great viewing angles too seeing that super amulet panel get that deep black color so the contrast is bright doesn't seem to be overpowering with this brightness output so very pleasing even if you're in a low lighting environment it doesn't seem to strain your eyes so it's pretty nice with that also super responsive you could tell just swiping through the intuitive uh, user interface here let's say for example you go to notifications you want to go back in order to do a back function you just do a swipe down from the top bezel down so you just basically perform a uh, back function which is nice. Being a uh, smartwatch you're going to get some basic functions here with the uh, unit itself. You can do voice memos, you can access S voice as long as you have paired up to a Galaxy smartphone. Of course you can use that to do different functions, search for stuff. You have a quick picture gallery right here. It's just some basic stuff and you can see the type of color. Let's see if I can show you the uh, the colors here. So it looks really nice. Still has a saturated looks to it. And if we go back here Let's take a look, go back again. Um, music functionality, you have a pedometer at heart, so it'll track the amount of steps you take and distance covered. And I'm going to assume also things like if you have a pair of the Galaxy S4, you can use the S Health application to actually track calories burn and a host of other fitness oriented stuff. You could also access some different applications built specifically for this. Looks like you have a weather application, so you can see the weather. Pretty useful information. Let's go back. Uh, voice memo. Yeah. Oh yeah, it also comes with a camera. It was a 1.9 megapixel camera, so you had the ability to shoot photos and videos on the fly, which is great. And also features a built-in speaker, so you could even accept phone calls and preview uh, text messages. So there you go, guys. That's a quick hands-on look at the Samsung Galaxy Gear smartwatch. Uh, it's going to launch September 25th in a variety of different markets throughout the world. No word yet an actual price in, but it's definitely a very interesting device. It seems like you have a good amount of functionality on board in the palm of your hands rather than using your smartphone. You can access some basic things directly from here. And it's just cool being able to take phone calls, viewing text messages, even uh, uh, you know take photos and videos on the fly, use it as a music player. So it's very interesting, con interesting uh, market it's going to try to attack. So if you want to learn more about the Samsung Galaxy Gear smartwatch, guys, you can check out our website, phonerena.com. It's John V. Thanks for watching.